Hello good people. Welcome back to our channel. Today I brought you this pattern. This one very rich pattern. Looks like this. This is the front. Looks like this at the back. Not so bad. It has its own pattern. And this one is good for mini projects also. But it suits better with the with the main products. Yeah. It goes very well with the with the main yeah, cardigans, rovers, whatever. But you can make this. Uh, you can use this to whatever many things. That is what I'm saying. It's a rich one. And it's so so good. It looks so difficult when you look at it like this, but it's not difficult at all. And we are going to see that today so this pattern calls for a multiple of six and then you add two with me here I have I have 12 for the multiple plus two this 14 and let's start it has five rows that we are going to be repeating uh, throughout the project so let's do this first row this one we we have a slip stitch, one, and then we pull two, one, two, and then we knit one, one, and then we pull one, one, and then from there, with our yarn at the back, we take these three these three stitches like this through the back here and knit them like that we don't take them out we yarn our yarn there again and yarn over backwise and go back there and get another one another Loop there. Now we make three here. That's replacing these three and we release. And then after that, we pile one. We need one. We pile one. And then from there, you can go to the other part if we had many many of these stitches from there you go to the next now because we don't have that we just make this remaining here uh, then we, we we can it can be neat can be pal because of what we need from on this junction here is a knit, a pearl, a pearl, a knit, and a pearl. Just like here, a pearl and a knit. The rest is for the other part, which is not there. Due to our not many stitches we have here. Okay, now we go to row number two. And we slip stitch. 
one. Oh, uh, depending. So these two, the beginning here, don't matter much. What matters is the one that is close to this. So you can knit, you can pull for now. And um, yeah, you see to it when I leave the the pattern for you. So this is number two. Which one actually we go as they come? You need them as they come. You pile them. If they are pearls, you go as they appear. Because like now here, this is a knit, knit, and this is a pearl. For this is the wrong side. We will be doing this throughout. You knit or pearl them the way they come. That is even if you have uh, quite a, a big number of stitches. All right, row number three. Row number three, of course, we also have slip stitch. We have slip stitch all, all over. And um, we need we are trying to come here because this is the only star joint that we have due to the the few stitches we have here so after knit after knit this one that is near here this knit here you go to the Second one, we have a, a pearl and an knit. We go to the knit one, this one, we knit it first, like that. And then we knit the second one here, like that. We knit one in between those two. Now, when we come to this part here, this one, we like this, we call it as a sky, like that, because we are we are going to knit from the back and the second stitch first there, and then we are coming for the the first one will be the second, like that. After that. After that, we knit. Yeah, this is a knit. Let's not forget, this is a knit. And then, you could continue if there are other parts. And for now, we are dealing with that. Which is what we knit here, and we curl just like that. Again, on the the fourth row. <coughs> the fourth row. We slip stitch, and then actually we make them as they come. Yeah, this is supposed to be the wrong side. And then that's why we part them as they come, knit them as they come. Just go through, go through them. Like this. Confirm that they are 
with the air you know and fun draw number five draw number five we also slip stitch one and then we slip stitch the other way around slip stitch and pull and then we pull one Uh, but this one's uh, this they are confusing because we don't have the real thing. All right, we make this like that, like that, until we are here. This we are coming to this part here, and what we always want to do is to. Yeah. Yeah, we are coming, they are confusing here. Yeah. We come here and we pull all we need. Now what we want from here is this this rib here. This protrude, protruding from the beginning. We are going to get these three together. This one, this one, and this one. Three of them here. Like this. Make sure you always get that that this one is going to be at the middle of the three. So we get them from the back like this and we knit them like that and we don't get them out even at the back and get one here like this because we are making another star here yeah like that from here we get another one here so after that we pile one we need one again let's say as we are here this one this at the middle here will always go on so make sure it's at the middle here so it's going to prolong and uh, we pile one now after piling we pile we knit and we pile we go back at the back there because we are going to get another three here together and this this one, this rib here, is going to be at the middle here. So that's what we will always be looking. And when you make a mistake, you just go back and be correct it. Yeah, we are here. You do this, yarn back, and get another one from there, like this. Yeah. You have three here, you repress this, you do this. And always after making these three like this, at this point, you always have to have this as a pearl next to it. And then a knit. Yeah. That is all what you are going to look for here. Yeah. Uh, to arrange them and if we arrange them properly they will be all right now we have two here and here we had one and this one at the middle will have to go until you are going to make it there up there and that is our our fifth row and that's all you have to be doing well another thing i want to point to you 
that many people don't tell us is that after rule number five, don't start uh, from the beginning, rule one. You start from row two, and then you come back to row five. And you will learn. They will arrange themselves and you will know as you go. And after that, you get this one here like this. You see we have this and then this at the end. Inside, outside, inside, outside. And the pattern starts this way going forward. You arrange here, all will be alright. And that is how we do this, guys. I hope you get it. Practice them more. And until in my next one, I wish you well. Stay safe.